Hey, Mike, thank you very much. This morning, Mary, her son, JR, and Kathy are here to talk about the upcoming Alzheimer's Tennessee Walk. Thanks for being here this morning. I like your hat. That looks good on you, buddy. <laughs> now, Mary, you guys have a special connection to this walk. Talk yes. about how Alzheimer's has impacted your family. My dad was diagnosed, it'll be nine years in June, with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So it has been a long journey. And Alzheimer's Tennessee has I cannot say enough about what they do for this community and for people who have loved ones mm -hmm. who are suffering from this disease. Well, it's tough on families. It, my mom has been my dad's primary caregiver. They've been married 55 years. Mm -hmm. And wow. actually four weeks ago today, we moved daddy into Avenir where Miss Kathy mm -hmm. runs it. But Alzheimer's Tennessee, I have gone to their office and sat on the floor and cried mm -hmm. when I just needed a village to hug and love on me mm -hmm. and I've been so blessed to be able to give back by walking volunteering for the walk I got to go to Nashville a couple weeks ago wow. to help uh, to voice and be a voice on a house bill and we're just so grateful for Alzheimer's Tennessee and everything they do well and they're such a great resource they they are now you have a, a team this year uh, actually, I'm walking with the Avenir Avengers. Oh, wow. Okay. If you have not signed up to donate yet, please go on and, and, and walk with the Avenir Avengers, please. And JR, yes. you're going to be walking too? Say yes, ma'am. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now, Kathy, tell us a little bit about the walk. And, and this is not just in our in Knoxville. It's in some other areas, it's too. It's in surrounding counties as well. Yeah. But the Alzheimer's, the Alzheimer's Tennessee has the Knoxville walk. It's actually going to be next Saturday. Okay. Everything starts around 9 a.m. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be at the UT Gardens. Beautiful, beautiful day. And we have ordered from Mike Witcher a beautiful day. So we appreciate WBIR <laughs> for promising that weather. We will make sure he gets that for you. <laughs> now, you've, you're the co-chair of the walk this I year. I'm the co-chair. How many families participate in this? We have over 200 teams normally, wow. and we're expecting that many, if not more. Every year, it just ups the ante, so mm -hmm. and we continue to grow. And how does this disease impact families in our areas? There are a lot of families impacted. There are a lot of families uh, in the Knoxville area and surrounding counties, and again, Alzheimer's is one of the diseases that you hear more and more about, and that has grown as well, and, and that's to our detriment. So that's the reason we walk. That's the reason all the teams form to walk. And this year, I want to let you know that we have some symbols that will be helpful to families, and they'll be wondering, this is actually new for us. And I actually walk for the cause of Alzheimer's, and there will be some that will have white stars, and these are the persons who actually have the disease. They oh, have been diagnosed great. with the disease. And I don't know that Mary Bartlett and <laughs> JR have the big orange one okay. over there because they are actually caregivers and supporters of a person who has Alzheimer's. That's so nice that you can kind of mark who's there and why. Now, if yes. people want to walk, can they still participate? They can still sign up right now. You can get on the website, the, the Alzheimer's Tennessee website, and uh, donate on your own, or you can join a team if you know anybody that's going to be walking next Saturday. Lots of fun. There's going to be loads of entertainment. There'll be JR. I'm hoping he'll participate in the bicycle contest. Oh, I that mean, sounds like bicycle fun. Bicycle contest and uh, pets are welcome. Children are welcome. Okay. It's going to be a very festive type of day. Lots of balloons and music and lots of great food awesome. and great company. Well, it sounds like we a great time. And we know you guys there. have some great resources. Where can people go to find out more information? They can actually call Alzheimer's Tennessee here in Knoxville. All kinds of support groups in, in the surrounding counties as well as Knoxville. All kinds of educational opportunities. And if you do come to the walk, you'll actually get one of these great brochures that has a calendar of events. They're all over Knoxville, Tennessee. So lots of support here. Uh, if you have a loved one that you even think may have Alzheimer's, call and talk to somebody. You need that support, and it's never too early to start finding out more about this disease. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here to talk about it today. Good luck. Thank I hope you. you have a great time. And thank you. Well, hopefully the weather will be nice that day, thank too. You. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate so it.